Hey Skyline, it's Miss Shannon, and for today's group, we're going to be doing a character trait crossword puzzle. So all I need you to do is go down to the description section of this video and click the link um, to bring you to that crossword puzzle, okay? Also, just a heads up, if you want to know the final words that you're going to be solving for, um, they're also going to be in that description section of this video. Um, if you don't want to look at them, that's fine. You can just go right to um, the crossword and try to solve it just using your memory about all the different um, character traits that we have at school that we talk about. Um, but if you get stuck, if you want some help, if you want a refresher on what all those character traits are, a list of those are um, in the description section of this video, okay? All right, here we go. Hey guys, here's the crossword. Um, so here on the right side, there's a bunch of hints, right? We have 15 different words we're looking for which correlate with the 15 character traits that we talked about in school. So here we have the across one. So these hints help you answer the words that go left to right here in the crossword puzzle. And on the right hand side here, we have the down words, meaning the um, words that are that start up top and then you end up writing them down, okay? We're going to go through this puzzle together. Um, if you don't want to do it together with me, you can just um, pause this video and uh, go ahead and solve the, pro um, the crossword puzzle. But if you want to do it with me, you can. Um, just follow along and we'll go through uh, hint by hint to figure out what character trait we're talking about, okay? So let's see. Let's just start right here. When you use a kind tone of voice and follow your teacher's directions, what character trait are you mainly using, right? There's probably a few. But let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters for this crossword um, word, and it's one of our character traits. And it's something you use when you use a kind tone of voice and follow your teacher's directions you're showing blank. Which character trait? Alright, I'm going to go with respect. Right? When you're being respectful, showing respect. Um, in a classroom setting in particular, that's definitely going to come out as you using a kind tone to communicate your needs, following your teacher's directions, showing them that you're listening and you're interested in what they're saying, okay? That's showing respect. Next up, we go with number six here. The hint is when you are grateful for positive things in your life. Well, there's a character trait that has a very similar start to it as the word grateful. Can anybody think of what it is? It's like grateful. It's having gratitude gratitude. When you're, when you have gratitude, it means you're thankful for the good things in your life, um, and not really focused on, or, like, obsessed with only the negatives, okay? Let's see. Eight across. The hint is, when you are proud of yourself and feel good about yourself for doing well on a science project, what character trait do you think you're feeling the most? You're using the most in this case. We're talking about self- something. Got it? Self-esteem. Self-esteem. Remember, self-esteem is all about feeling good about yourself. Being like, I'm awesome. I did a great job. I'm excited about something I chose to do. Self-esteem is awesome. Good job. Next up, number nine across, we have the hint. It says, taking time to clean up trash, volunteer, or improve your community in some way. Hmm. Community could be a hint here. Um, helping others. Hmm. There's a few. I mean, there's a plenty of character traits here for sure that tie into this. But let's see. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letter spaces. All right. I'm gonna go with service. Service. Right. That's helping others. Making t maybe taking time out of your day when you normally wouldn't to go help. Um, improve something in the community around you or another community. All right, next up, 10 across. I guess I'm just going to do all the acrosses first. <laughs> all right, 
when you tell the truth about stealing a classmate's pencil. Okay, so it sounds like maybe there's something you want to hide, but you're instead of hiding it, you're going to be blank. Blank. You're going to practice blank. This one's honesty, okay? If we're telling the truth about something we did, that's being honest, okay? And that's sometimes hard to do. Um, I, I definitely struggled with that a lot in my life, okay? Honesty. All right, number 11 across. When you finish all of your chores, when you're like doing the job you're supposed to do, um, that is having <laughs> responses. Oops, hold on. This is on the wrong one. Res ah, responsibility. Beautiful. All right, next up, we have 13 across. The hint is, when you work well with others to dig a big hole in the sandbox. Keywords here is going to be others. Um, and just, once again, you guys working together well. You are using what character trait? Cooperation. Right, cooperation is all about working with others um, as a team and using different social skills to be able to communicate your needs, your wants, um, and getting a job done, okay? And let's see, next up we have 14 across. Hint says, when you quietly and calmly wait in line before recess. Keywords are going to be quietly and calmly and wait in this one. What character trait has to do with waiting? All right, it's patience. Patience can be hard sometimes, right? Especially if we're particularly anxious or excited about something. Patience can be hard to use. All right, number 15. <clears throat> when you choose not to cheat, even though you could have gotten away with it. What are we often calling out um, when we're playing Foursquare Guys and we're proud that you announce that you got out before other people calling calling you out. We say, hey guys, great mm -hmm. integrity, right? <clears throat> this is one I didn't really know of much as a kid, um, and I'm really excited you guys learned about this way earlier than I ever learned about this word. And you guys do a really good job with this sometimes. All right, it looks like we're done with the across ones. Next we have our downs, okay. One down. When you try something new, even though it may be scary. <coughs> Sorry guys, my allergies are gone. One down. When you try something new, even though it may be scary. So this would be to do with being brave. What's another word for being brave? It's courage, right? Having courage. Um, and I want to I want to emphasize using courage in a really positive way, so maybe standing up for something you believe in, helping protect a peer from something bad happening to them. Uh, make sure we're using courage in a positive way that's that's not going to um, hurt ourselves or put us in danger, okay? Alright, next up, uh, two down! <laughs> the hint is, when you are kind to someone, even if you don't know them or if they are different. Now, one of our character traits is all about, yeah, believing you're not, like, better than others or that kind of thing, um, and being open to differences in people and, and accepting that and loving them because of that, right? And this is humanity. Humanity. Next up, number three down. When you keep doing your work, even though you are bored. This is another one I feel like we um, we celebrate with you guys a lot, okay? If we're, maybe we've been doing eye ready for 30 minutes or we're getting kind of bored or whatever. When I see you guys keep going, you are doing what? You are practicing what character trait? It's a long one. Perseverance. Yeah, perseverance. To persevere, to finish spelling perseverance. Alright, next up. Four down. 
when you pause and use a coping st- coping skill instead of immediately fighting? What character trait are you using? It's technically two words, but we're gonna, it's only one word really on this thing. When you pause and use a coping skill instead of fighting, you are using, dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna get it? Self control. Beautiful. Self control can be a hard one too. Especially because we have to say, I want to do this one thing, but I know it's better if I do something else, so I'm going to stop myself and do that better thing, make that better choice. Okay, that's using self control. And seven down. When you have a plan to study hard for spelling in order to get a treasure box item. Keyword here is plan. Plan. This is goal setting, all right? Goal setting is the idea that you want something in the future and you're going to set up a plan to get that thing, okay? So this can be a short-term goal, like, all right, I want to finish my work so I can go out to recess in 10 minutes. Or it can be a long-term goal, like, I want to go to college and graduate with a degree in social work, right? Um, and that's a long-term goal that's a decade and, you know, 10 plus years away kind of vibe, okay? Um, so, yeah, goal setting is all about making a plan and getting things done. Lastly, number 12, when you help another student who accidentally dropped his markers on the floor, you are showing what character trait? Caring, right? When we're helping others, when we're showing that we care for other others <coughs> by making kind gestures um, and that kind of thing, that's showing caring. Alrighty guys, that's it. Thanks for joining me on that. Have a great rest of your day.